At PEAS, we really need a one-to-one -one situation where students can take a device home and work, and that way their lessons really are digital. I feel one of our biggest needs at PEAS is that we need more professional development, especially in the area of technology. We have teachers that are really wanting to use technology, but they don't know specifically how to implement it to be more effective. We do have devices at school, including computers and learn pads that they use individually. It does help us be more digital, but we'd like to have that aspect to take home. There's a couple things I see. The new show that you run here, I see that it is very effective at teaching kids how to do a new show. And on top of that, Insight 360, the app that teachers use to control their computers to send uh, formative assessments to their kids. Um, that's a very great software we have in place that is very effective at what it does. We have uh, a device for every student, so one-to-one. -one. We have two computer, computer rooms or computer labs. We have smart boards in each classroom. Each teacher has an iPad. Um, well, I've also done some of my own donors choose grants and gotten my own technology for my classroom as well. I think we do. We use it at school so that we can have students log in, find their digital lesson, everything is organized, and it's a great place for them to resource and repeat information as needed. I say most definitely. Uh, as PEAS, we have one of the most advanced technology infrastructure out of all the elementary schools in Midland. So with all the teachers having tablets, having computers in the classroom, having two computer labs to choose from, we have enough to do Google Classroom here. Yes, we still have several students that can't access technology on a regular basis. No, we do not. We don't have budget for a set of learning devices or for software if needed, uh, but we would like to be able to do that. Our budget only covers repair. This year has been very interesting because we've had a lot of budget cuts. Um, a lot of it is just because of the Robin Hood tax that's been uh, requiring us to sp send money in. So right now funding is hard, but there are things that we could do as in grants or going through um, one here in Midlands called the Education Foundation where we're able to get money to further a goal or something that as teachers we can use in the classroom. Uh, teachers are not required to learn or use Google Classroom. We do encourage them to and we encourage them to come to training, but most training is after hours or during their conference time, which they have very little time during that time. Usually it is used for meeting with parents or paperwork and planning. I feel so far it's very good to put the basics in. Uh, Trina Springer is our technology coach and she's been great at trying to help us with the basics. I feel it's really hard to go to the advanced place because there's not enough tech coaches for us to move to that place. And Trina has other schools assigned to her, so it's really difficult to try to train teachers to get to that advanced level. So we need more work in that. No. We have technicians that can come and help work on equipment for technical support but they are assigned many campuses and usually get to come one day a week or if they get to come that one day a week to do repairs and to help out. I say yes. Uh, usually the first step is they'll contact me or Derek Nolan which is our computer tech and usually one of us will fix it and if not then we do escalate it uh, using Eduphoria as our technology help desk work order system. Each campus does have an instructional person for technology integration and they can contact that person. 
that person also is assigned to a campus. They only have four campuses apiece and they come to those campuses one day a week. So we really are trying to push our instructional needs and, and meet those folks. They get, as we mentioned before, I feel they get the basics, which is good where to start off. But when it gets to that, the advanced, really wanting to use it meaningful in the classroom, I feel we could use a lot more training in that. If the teacher signs up for it themselves, the trainings are out there. You just have to make the effort to actually go do the trainings and learn the software or the devices that need to be understood. Yeah.